Hello, in this video we will be covering some of the best practices for dealing with errors and bugs in a Slim Framework application. First, let's talk about some basic debugging strategies. One of the still helpful ways to understand what is going wrong and where the problem is coming from is to configure the error reporting settings for PHP itself. The first line, error reporting you all, sets the error reporting level to show all errors, warnings and notices. The next two lines, ini set display errors 1 and ini set display startup errors 1, set the PHP configuration options for displaying errors and startup errors respectively. Together, these lines ensure that any errors that occur during the execution of the script will be displayed on the screen, rather than being hidden from the user. On a production server, it is generally not recommended to display errors to the end users, as it can reveal sensitive information about the server and application, and it can also be a security vulnerability. To configure error reporting on a production server, you can use the following settings. This will turn off error reporting and prevent errors from being displayed on the screen. Additionally, it is recommended to write errors to a file or send them to an error tracking service. Another important strategy is to use a debugging tool like Xdebug. Xdebug is a PHP extension that provides detailed information about your code, including variable values, function calls, execution time and memory usage, stack traces and more. It also allows you to set breakpoints and steps through your code, making it easy to identify the source of bugs. You can do this by using an IDE with Xdebug integration, such as PHP Storm and Visual Studio Code. Now let's talk about error handling in Slim Framework. One of the great things about Slim Framework is that it provides a built-in error handling middleware that makes it easy to catch and handle exceptions. You can use the app add error middleware method to add the integrated exception handler for your application. This allows you to catch exceptions and display standard error messages to the users. Note that on the production server, you should pass false as the first argument to prevent the server from displaying too much error details. The slim error middleware is also able to log errors. This code is setting up a monolog logger to write errors to a file named error.log and it is using the rotating file handler to handle the log rotation, so it will create new files every day. Finally, just pass the custom logger instance as the fourth argument as shown here. Another important best practice is to always display a user-friendly error message to your users. This will help them understand what's going wrong and what they can do to fix the problem. In Slim Framework, you can also change how to render a response depending on the content type. To add your own error renderer, you first need to create a new class that implements the error renderer interface. To register that error renderer, you can use the register error renderer method of the error middleware object. In this example, we will register the renderer that will be used for the content type application JSON. There is also a way to catch and handle HTTP errors. First you need to implement a custom error handler that implements the error handler interface. Then use the error middleware set handler method to register the handler for that specific type of exception, in this case the HTTP not found exception. So every time an HTTP not found exception is thrown, the not found handler is invoked to handle the exception. Conclusion. Remember to use detailed error messages, debugging tools and best practices for error handling to make your application more stable and user-friendly. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.